Hello, 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 everyone. It's me. It's your girl, Sia Knight, and I am the mobile notary mentor. And today, what I've decided to do is I'm going to answer some of the questions that I get in the comments and some of the questions I get in person and some of the questions I get during my new notary workshop. Um, and one thing that people want to know is kind of what does a real life transaction look like on the notarized platform? So I thought what I would do is I would kind of just kind of pull back the curtain a little bit and let you know kind of how I do it on the notarized platform. So first of all, the disclaimer is number one, I do not work for notarized as one of their trainers, okay? So let me, I'm gonna put that out there. So if you think that, um, that this is an official video from Notarize, it is not, but what I am is a person who has done over 700 transactions on the Notarize platform. And that's been within the last, let's see, five months. And so I just wanted to share kind of what I've found to be successful. And so let me do that. And before I, I do that, I also want to remind you that there is a new notary workshop coming up March 27th from 10 a.m. till noon Eastern time. If you want more information and more practice like this, we do it in a small group setting. So just hit me up with the link down below. So let's first start off when I have a customer or a client that pops up on the screen, okay? So when the person pops up on the screen, I typically have right in front of me, I have the document that's to be notarized. And then up in my right hand, well, it's in my left hand corner. I don't know how it's going to look like on the screen. I'll have the picture of the person, my picture, well, the video of the person, my video, and then I'll have some any notes that'll be on the screen. So when I first get connected with the person, I will say, hello, welcome to Notarize. My name is Sia Knight and I'm a commissioned electronic notary in Virginia. Before we get started, I need to let you know that today's session will be recorded. Is that okay with you? And the person says yes, okay. And then, and I, like I said, I've, I've done that over 700 times. So I've, I've, I've memorized that part, so that's good. But I still like to have my notes for the next portion, which is, and I have it, I have laminated it. I'm not, cause you know, I'm not trying to freestyle and do something that's not allowed, right? So the next thing, and this is for kind of general notary work. So if I'm, if someone has a request for a vital record or they have uh, some type of the PS 1583 form, which if you are on the notarized platform, you're very familiar with, I let them know. Uh, in order to proceed, I've got a series of questions I need to ask you. So please answer yes or no to the following four questions. Is that okay? Person says yes. Okay. Do you understand the contents of the document that you're about to sign? And the, the, person, the person will say yes. Okay. Are you participating in today's notarization of your own free will? Yet the person often giggles and then says yes, okay? Do you agree to use an electronic signature to sign the document? Person says yes. And do you understand and agree that by signing the document, you legally bind yourself to the terms of the document? Person gen generally says yes. So one question you may ask is, well, if the person says no, then you halt <laughs> right there. And it depends on what their uh saying no or having a question about? Um, do you understand the contents of the document? If they're like, well, I'm not really sure. And so for me, I said, well, can you explain to me what you think this document is? And then they explain it. I said, okay, so, you know, do you feel confident enough to continue? Yes, I do. Then they'll continue. Okay. So those are the questions that we ask um, with every transaction. With real estate transactions is a little bit different, but the same idea, 
Okay, so that's the first part. The second part is if you have a sworn statement, you have to administer an oath, which again, it's, it's, it's serious business, but it's also kind of fun. So you let them know, well, it looks like this is a sworn statement, so I'll need to perform an oath. Please answer with I swear or I affirm. And swearing is to God, affirmation is on your honor. Please raise your right hand so I can see it in the camera. Okay. Do you solemnly swear or affirm under penalty of perjury that the statements made in this document are true to the best of your knowledge or belief? Do you swear or affirm? I swear. I affirm. Okay. Thank you. All right. You may put your hand down because most people are just up here hanging in there. Okay. Let them know. You can, hand can go down. Okay. So I just wanted to give folks uh, some type of kind of idea of what a real notarization looks like and kind of walk you through a little bit of the process. Because I think what I find is when I work with folks, they're more nervous and apprehensive more than anything else. And as long as you feel confident, you learn the right way to do things, then you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Ch you know, most of the people I've talked to they did not have to be as nervous as they were in order to get started. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell and pass on this video. If you know anybody else who is getting started as a notary, I specifically really kind of focus on general notary work. And also I, I made some videos about the Ron space. But if you have anyone who has any questions, please send them my way. So until next time, like the folks say, happy signing. Bye.